Now, can a stable country situated in the heart of Europe be split down the middle? The people of Belgium are beginning to wonder if that outcome, which used to be difficult to imagine, could now become a reality. And much of the crisis is down to the inability of political leaders there to form a government. Well, there's always been a very clear divide between North and South, with the Dutch-speaking Flemish living in the North and the French-speaking Walloons in the South. The capital, Brussels, where most people speak French, is in the North, and the man who leads the biggest party and the would-be Prime Minister, Yves Le Terme, is proposing that more power be devolved to it. As Tanya Page reports now from Belgium, that has heightened fears that the country could be accelerating towards a split. Belgian politics is a bit of a sticky mess at the moment in this small nation of 10 million people famous for chocolate, beer and Tintin. Many are asking what exactly it means to be Belgian. Almost exactly half of all Belgians are French-speaking Walloons, the rest Dutch-speaking in Flanders, where Flemish separatists say there's only one real solution. The two people are actually have no common point that they have self-interests on both sides and that they have different, totally different views of all the problems and of, they have the different point of view and they won't give in on, I mean, someone is going to have to com compromise and a compromise, the so-called famous Belgian compromise, is always a lousy compromise because it's always at the expense of the Flemish. La Flandre va proclamer unilatéralement son When an elaborate hoax news story said Flanders had declared independence, thousands believed it. A recent poll showed 46% of Flemish want separation. But on the streets of the bilingual capital, there's little appetite for a split. Belgium should not be separate because um, I think it's, it's good like it is. It will... It will separate, yeah, but not for, for, for the moment. Belgium is a little country, so if we're separated, we're smaller. If there was no Brussels, uh, Brussels as a city, uh, the separation could be, uh, happen very, very quickly. Brussels, the home of NATO and the European Parliament, is the problem for separatists. How would it be divided? It's largely French-speaking, but sits inside Flanders. This is Belgium's parliament where politicians have been arguing for more than 100 days over how to form a coalition government. It may sound like a long time, but over the years, Belgians have learned to be patient. In 1988, a government was formed after 150 days of debate. The cause of the deadlock, the man likely to be the next prime minister promising more power for prosperous Flanders, which doesn't sit well with Walloon parties. On the outskirts of Brussels, one mayor says her village is on the front line, sitting like an island, surrounded by Flanders. A native French speaker, she can speak only Dutch in her own council building. La Flandre... Flanders is progressively discriminating against the French speakers and now we're at a very important stage because our language is the last link with Brussels and they want to cut it. Nearby, a Flemish mayor has banned French from the local school, claiming it's to protect the Flemish identity and to help new arrivals fit in. There were some people who said that uh, discrimination, I always said it's a form of uh, faster integration. That's like uh, you want to see it. But if they have a problem, they always can send their children to a, a Brussels school. Most commentators will tell you that eventually there will be a government, that despite their differences, like all couples, Belgium is just going through a rough patch. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Belgium.